good morning everyone. Let's um, cook again um, cassava suman, my version. So guys, you may uh, you may try this recipe also. So uh, I have here um, the leftover of my um, halaya or bihalaya and some coconut, coconut strings and coconut um, coconut grated it's here my cassava is there i have already um, and some peanuts i have already put the uh, sugar i mean sugar brown sugar for my cassava and i will uh, give you uh, anyway the recipe of this so i have there the peanuts crushed peanuts of course uh, peanut butter for creamy creamier taste and then I used brown sugar or you may use Moscovado and then uh, uh, condensed milk to sweeten it up but this dish uh, or this kakanin is not sweet because uh, my taste is uh, I, I, I want uh, not uh, less sugar I don't want it too sweet and then put salt all right so this will be mixed together all together Okay, you may wear your gloves if you want, and then uh, with your hand. Okay, feel well blended. Okay, I have uh, put also some coconut milk here rich coconut milk so this guys is uh, according to your taste all of the ingredients here is according to your taste so you may taste before cooking if you want uh, more of the of the sugar then be it you may add vanilla All right, guys, if you want a uh, little bit um, nutritious, because brown sugar is nutritious, okay, you may add, and then it adds color also. It darkens your, your suman, cassava. All right, guys, did you see this? Small lumps small lumps of uh, the muscovado sugar this is you know i uh, tried making uh, i used to make this in all my my kakanin like uh, suman or alopi or malagkit rice alopi with using malagkit rice i used to put this because i want something um something uh, not um a little bit um, um, caramelized when when this will cook it will turn caramel and it gives you another flavor so just like raisins so one of my uh, my uh, client said my suman is nice because there is raisin but I don't have I don't put raisin at all it's because of the lumps sugar lumps all right Okay, let's start wrapping. So I prepared again uh, banana leaves wherein I cook this in um, boiled water with gata. With second extraction of gata or the third extraction of gata, I use it because I want it a little bit oily. Okay, 
and it smells good. Okay, let's start. So, drop uh, one tablespoonful. I will make this into rad. Okay, that's it. Okay, like this. When you uh, when you uh, close, just twist both ends to seal it, so that is already nice. Okay, so I'll make another one. All right, guys. We are going to. Uh, I am going to put this now on my cooking pot. All right, guys. Let's finish everything. Okay, finish everything to the last bit. Okay, simot. Panogon, guys. Huh? Okay, twist. So I find this easier to seal. Okay. Easier and fastest. Fastest of all sealing of alopi. Okay, just twist. Okay. Okay, our suman is uh, there already and our cooking karahai or cooking pot. So let's cover. There is water in it here, guys. Like suman I did before. I put uh, I put also uh, second extraction or third extraction of your coconut. So that will provide us liquid for cooking your Suman. Okay, cook suman like this in bulk. Then cover. Or you may put banana leaves on top and then cover. Okay, put the banana leaves. And then cover tight. Okay, cook in almost uh, one hour or 40 minutes, guys. 40 minutes. Okay, meanwhile, guys. Because our uh, suman is not yet cooked, so while we are waiting, let's cook our bud bud. So this is my version, so I will measure one cup of glutinous rice. Okay, one cup of glutinous rice. Okay, wash. And put it here. Be sure you have the linings, banana linings on your pot. Because you are going to boil this as in cooking rice. We are going to grate the ubi. The ubi is already boiled. This is purple ubi. Okay. 
as in OB. The color is good. So this will add color to your puto or to your puto bumbung, I mean. It's not bodbod, but it's puto bumbung. So measure one cup and mix. Add pinch of salt. Okay, you may add flavor, OB. Okay, one teaspoon. And add at least one cup of water. Okay, let's cook. Bring to boil until cooked. Let's say 20 minutes. All right, guys, they are boiling already. Our uh, puto bumbung is right there. So uh, you may add banana leaves. Banana leaves on top. Okay. And sprinkle water for enough cooking. Let's check our suman, kasaba suman. Yes, it's there. I think this is uh, cooking in 15 minutes more. So, uh, Put the chopping board again on top because it is dancing inside. And uh, the cover is, uh, it distracts the cover. All right. My puto bumbung is already done. So let's melt some butter to be used for packing and for greasing. All right, guys, we'll taste one, one of our suman. We'll take one, maybe uh, we'll take here, in the center, because if it's cooked from the center, then the outer, the outer, the, from the outer sides is already cooked. It's also well done, okay? Let's open. So, wow. Okay, it's done. It's well done. So, we have to put out the fire now. All right, guys. These are now our cassava suman as in special, special one. And see, this is too, still hot. And this is the inside. Yeah. I will taste this. Mmm, so yummy, guys. The taste, um, it's not too sweet, but it's, there is there the nut flavory, creamy also. I, I can chew the, um, the lumps of the sugar. So nice, guys. The blend is good. And uh, the most important there is the flavor that I put. The halaya. The halaya. The grated halaya. Or halaya chips. So try this recipe, guys. I bet. I will send recipes. All right, guys, our um, puto bumbung is, uh, is now ready. Let's see. You see, 
you see this guys try to see this If you didn't put the banana leaves in here, it will scorch. Okay, we are going to brush them with our melted margarine or butter. This adds flavor also. And grease. Giles, I'll show you the, the toppings for our puto bumbong. Here are the toppings, the brown sugar, muscovado, grated coconut, and the linga, okay? Alright, you may wear your gloves now, and then, because you are going to form it into rods. So this is still hot. Alright. So we'll put toppings. Okay, if you want more of the grated coconut, this is fresh grated coconut, then you put brown sugar and the linga guys if you want a uh, serving portion for an individual okay How, how delicious, guys. How delicious to eat this uh, puto bombong of mine. This is a mixture of glutinous rice. It's not ground rice, but it's just rice. And then with obi, obi yam. Okay. Okay, guys. Today's recipe is our suman... Suman cassava special, and then our um, my version of uh, this puto bumbong. Okay, so let's eat, guys. No, we cannot eat this all, but I have to share it to some friends or my relatives in my town. Okay, so don't um, forget to uh, if you want this recipe, but I'm sure you are, you would like this recipe, guys. I bet. So don't forget to subscribe, okay? Like and share to to make my channel grow because I'm still starting with my vlog. So help me, guys, please. <laughs> I will give you more recipes, more and more healthy foods recipes and more uh, delicious one. Okay, bye. See you next vlog.